Saskifone Prague presents a production of the Czechoslovak Ministry of General Engineering. Testing Skoda cars. Film production staff. Voiturette Model A by Lorin and Clement. The year 1905. The starting point of a fine tradition of car manufacture. Cars whose good reputation would soon spread far and wide. The Phaeton S, built in 1911. The main assets of these cars were reliability, easy maintenance and safety. 1925. The Loring and Clement device is joined for the first time by the characteristic sign of Skoda cars. We must learn the lesson available from sporting events and make use of the new knowledge for making reasonably priced quality cars. Those were the intentions of the founders of the Skoda car factory. And it is a principle that holds good even today. Present day Skoda cars are built on the same philosophy. The road from the first ideas of the design engineers to the mass-produced car is neither short nor easy. The body is a substantial part of a modern car. The body specialists provide the basis for selecting the design and styling of new models. The work here is both creative and purely technical. Aesthetic aspects must be concerted with considerations of body strength and rigidity, noise levels, heating and ventilation. Aerodynamic demands have the main say in determining the styling. The selection and design of the power unit is just as important. So is the brake system and questions of active and passive safety. Hours, days, months and years of high-level work of a team of specialists. That is typical of the activity of Skoda's research and development. As Skoda repeated, being bench-tested in the laboratory. Testing the exhalations in the exhaust gases. The decreasing amount of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons being checked by modern testing equipment. All the tests show that Skoda cars comply fully with the standards laid down by the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. Everybody knows how unpleasant and dangerous noise can be. The noise levels of motor cars are being pressed down. The ways in which noise spreads must be determined, as well as sources of noise in the various assemblies of the car. Appropriate measures are then taken to deal with the problem. A new Skoda model being prepared. first functional version of the body. The required tolerances in building up the body are ensured by a delta three-dimensional control instrument which compares the values of the product with the data laid down by the design. engine being built and tested to improve fuel economy and to reduce noise.
to the automatic bench for testing the new power units. The bench facilitates long-term tests. All the data are automatically monitored and recorded by the measuring apparatus to be later processed by computer. Engine testing is also carried out at other stands. All the functions of the engine are fully tested, including ignition and a variety of mechanical data. The dynamometric testing shop of Skoda at Mladaboleslav. Here, the durability and strength of the chassis assemblies and the whole car are subjected to strenuous tests. The computer-controlled loading cycle simulates the stress the car is exposed to in difficult conditions. The suspension and damping of the car are tested. Axles, their components and many other chassis components are exposed to long-term loading tests. Everything must be checked and rechecked. Conclusions are drawn from successful and unsuccessful tests in order to determine structural changes or adaptations. The active safety of the car is tested on the factory's proving ground. The result? Skoda cars meet all the stringent requirements for braking with plenty of braking power in reserve. The new car must prove its qualities and handling in all sorts of traffic situations. One of the steering and handling tests involves driving in a circle. The final stage of the testing, the barrier test or head-on impact to test passive safety elements. Again, the Skodas have proved their excellent qualities. This is the end of the long process of testing a new model of Skoda. The end of another stage in the birth of a motor car. Volume production can be launched. These then are Skoda cars from Czechoslovakia. Reliable, economical, safe. The design and workmanship are regularly tested on difficult ground with maximum loads and at maximum performance. Hundreds of thousands of Skoda cars from Mladá Boleslav can be seen on roads in more than 40 countries. Hundreds of thousands of cars exported through the Motorcov foreign trade company, even to countries with advanced car industries of their own. Skoda cars have proved their value everywhere. Reliable and safe, Skoda is the ideal car for everyday use. Skoda cars from Mladá Boleslav, Czechoslovakia.